So... Hold it right there! All right. If you wish to play with the very best here on Pirate Island, you're gonna need more Sky Stones. Cause you're not exactly playing with a full deck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but you may be able to pillage for some more Sky Stones. We've got a scallywag locked up in our brig who had a pretty fancy deck, as I recall. Ooh, how fancy. Okay. So, you have... Um, you have these gates you can bust down. Obviously. Duh. If I point down any other obvious stuff, I swear. But make sure you get this wheel over here, because it is your next Luckatron wheel. Yep, the Luckatron wheel. The wheel of wealth. This is the one that becomes very important. Very quickly. Yeah, cool, you can see him talking. That was kind of cool. Anyhow, yes. So you want to get the Luckatron wheel of wealth, because anytime you pick up treasure, you have a chance of increasing how much treasure you pick up. And this part is actually, you know, you can push the cannon over here and shoot it, and now you can move the cannon and shoot it around. If, again, you don't oh, have you. And say, a giant. How about a game now that I'm free? Promise I'll only cheat a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play some Sky Souls. Bully for you. Takes a lot of courage to play the likes of me. Bully for you? All right, I, I know, I've also talked on International Talk Like a Pirate Day, right? But I've never used the phrase, Bully for ye! have block squares. No stone may be played on a block square. Okay, so they throw in these little extra stuff. All right, so nothing can be played on that block square. Just as it said. Jeez, I'm such a genius sometimes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this guy over here. Inhuman shield. Because he points his, his things down. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm horrible at it. He's pointing. He has two edges pointing down. Chompy. And two to the right. So most of the chompies, they're just. I don't know. That looks like they just point all to the left. Mace Major. Most of the time, when you're playing Sky Stones against somebody, they'll have a uh, an ultimate Sky Stone. Blast and. Control. I'm not exactly sure where it is or if this guy has one or not, but um, just a heads up, you might run into like, you know, a bunch Roll of choppy stones master. and then all of a sudden it's chaos Rah, tear you apart stone. I don't know. I, I don't know if there's a chaos stone, but just blaster saying, like troll. this blaster troll too, how it has two yeah. edges on each side, that there is pretty crazy. Okay, that, that's, that's pretty powerful stone. So... You know, just just be aware that if you think you're winning, make sure you're winning by a lot. <laughs> because you never know when that last stone's going to come down. They're just going to wipe you out. But every time you win, you get more stone. And usually it's their secret top dog stone. Well, I suppose I should be giving you my real best sky stone. Already gave it to me. <laughs> you already gave it to me. <laughs> Alright. So let's just break all this stuff and get some more treasure with Dump back. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Alright, and then we'll crush this stuff. Arr, you may now enter Pirate Island, but watch your back. It is a dangerous place. I just noticed his name was Wolf. Like, woof, woof, I'm an awe, woof. Executioner. Executioner. Did I just switch to another? Yeah, I did. Alright. So, the Executioner is actually a really tough opponent. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do as much as I can to take him out quick. I recommend putting out all the stops with these guys, because they will okay. hurt. almost there! Your biggest and best Sky Stones player is just beyond that gate. Gonna need to get that key first. Okay. I'll leave that part to you. Thanks, Callie. You usually do. And seriously, she thinks she's like helping me all the time, and now all of a sudden it's like, you know what? This time you can do it. <laughs> like as if any other different, any, any, t it, you know what I mean. Shut up. Whatever. Internet. Gosh. Alright, so let's see what we got going on. Alright, 
we have we have a bunch of stuff we just want to burn and bust around. There's a block there we can push. And then this, basically, what I'm trying to point out here is you're going to run into a puzzle. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you're going to run into a puzzle. Let's climb up here and see what's up here first. What do we got up here? There's some enemies. We're going to slather them up with oil and then they're going to burn! Oh no! Yeah, see, that's that's the weird part too, is these guys, they... They, uh, they can hurt themselves, and they can hurt their friends. And I caught them on fire, so... Oh yeah! Hothead is going up! Oh, there's some enemies coming up from over there now. Let's see if I can... Nope. I was gonna say, let's see if I can save that pizza till next time, but that's not happening. No, oh, let's check out over here and see what we got. Oh. Alright. Once you start learning Skystones, you're going to want to talk to just about everybody. Hey, pal. You know this area used to be a real dump. But I fixed it up. Oh, well, thanks. Problem is, I put in this security system to keep the real ghouls out. But now I can't get through myself. But if you want to try, you're welcome to anything you can find. Think there might be a few ghostly goodies in there for you. So there is a T-bone in this game. There he is. But I am surprised at the number of airships they have around here. I thought, Let's like, um, Flynn was, like, the only airship type of dude, you know? But, yeah, I guess I'm wrong. Okay. So what you're going to want to do here is bump these switches, obviously. Gosh. I keep pointing out so many obvious things, it's like, jeez. But then you have a little bit of a puzzle. And I say a little bit of a puzzle, because it's not really that hard. I mean, you push the switches, you move the block, you walk across, you push the switch. Alright, good so far? Alright, so we did that. You drop down, you push the block, and then you go and do it on the other side. That's really it. This part's not too bad. Okay. Do. Do. Alright. Problem is, I'm doing this with Eyebrow, and he's so slow. He's so slow. Eyebrow, you're so slow. What did I do? Come on, watch your giant feet. Alright. So slow. Make sure you push the block back in the middle before you go up there. Oh, there was one thing Skylander Swap Force. I know I don't usually do that. Yeah, I do. I don't mind. But. Uh, I was going to say, I usually don't talk about the next game in the series, but I, I did. I did in Spyro's Adventure. Anyhow, Swap Force. They're going to implement... Ready? Ready? The jump button. <laughs> so our Skylanders are going to be able to jump. Quite an eyeful. Quite an eyeful is right, eyebrow. <laughs> So, um, you know, if, if you guys love Skylanders all, so far, I would start looking towards Swap Force because you know, they're going to probably have a lot more dynamic things happening in that game. Whoa, whoa, oh no, I'm going to get all caught up. Oh, no, oh, not by the... Oh, no, no, I got hit by the bone. Oh. It's in the bone. It's in the bone. <laughs> it's in the bone. Let's go. It kind of looks like I can go over here. Oh, here's your bomb in case you uh, don't have a giant Skylander. Okay, and then you can rush back with the bomb and I don't need it. I probably won't use very many bombs in this game because I I have all giants. My whole team is giants. Giants everywhere. It's just giant. We're just big. We're large, and we're in charge. That's the way it is. <laughs> I'm a giant. That's what I do. I do kind of wonder how SWAT Force is going to accommodate for any giants. You know, if they're going to have, like, the uh, the gates where only giants can break down or the, the feats of strength or whatever. Because I, as far as I know, they're not going to implement any new giant characters. They're going to use the giants. Giants. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be pretty cool looking. 
put this right on my eye. Plus 10 armor. Cool, I'll take that. Doesn't look like a very armored hat. Dare I say, eye candy? Eye candy? Ha <laughs> ha. All right, good job, eyebrow. Ab, uh, eyebrow, eyebrow. Skylanders of the fire element are stronger in this zone. All right, back to hothead. Now, if, if memory serves me correctly, we are just missing our legendary tree war. And at this moment, I don't recall where it is. I have no idea. Can I get you guys from here? No. That's okay. I will get you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll get you. I'll get you, my pretties. Okay, that's probably going to be used to get the key. But before we do that, let me go in this door and see what's going. See what's cooking. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a button. Ah. And then here's our little, uh, our guy. Excellent. You are just in time. I have deals you absolutely must see. Feast your eyes on these wonderful items. All of them quality. Oh. Well, if they're quality, I guess I'll take a look. Um, so now he starts, um, selling you sky stones. And some of these are ridiculous. I mean, this one. Four edges downwards. <laughs> and you also get some more, um... Heroic challenges, and of course, hats. He'll always sell you hats. Um, all Skylanders become invincible for a short time. Never use that one. Don't think I need it. Um, there's the lock puzzle. And I don't remember if I showed this last time, but Fairy Dust allows you to upgrade right now if you want to. Eh, it's not worth it. I'm going to eat this candy up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice and toasty. So there was a door that opened up, and if you find the door... Pretty sure you'll find some legendary treasure. Stop shooting arrows at me, please. Thank you. Nice. Oh, I want you to stop! I made a bridge! Now you just need the key to open that gate. Oh my gosh, Callie. Seriously? Can you be any more useless? There it is. Look at all this tre- Yes! And a legendary tre- Yes! Oh, it's a skull mast head. That's going to be so awesome. Because remember, legendary treasures now, they go on your boat. They make your boat look awesome. They pimp out your boat. Whew. That's going to be so cool. Can I use pimp in a G-rated? Yeah, we're going to let it fly. Oh, well. Oh, no. Take it, hothead. You can take it. Yeah. Oil and fire. That's the way it's done. <laughs> Alright. I bet you these doors don't open. Okay. Hothead's really tough for me to use because of. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. It's one of those Skylanders that you don't want anything to be up close to you. Got it. Now you can open the gate. But you need to be up close to attack. So. Kind of a tricky situation. But I'm going to go back in here and grab this popsicle before we go any further. Yeah. Ah. Because that makes sense. Hothead needs a popsicle. <laughs> oh, that's alright. That's okay. That's alright. That's okay. You'll all work for us one day. You ever hear that? What is it? Some, I don't remember where I heard that from, but it was like a, a rhyme that some somebody from Harvard sang or whatever. And it like sang it to people who were like blue collar or whatnot. That's alright, that's okay, you'll all work for us one day. I don't, I don't know. What am I even talking about? What the, what the heck is this? See, see what Skylanders does to you? You just, your mind wanders on so much different things. Oh. And my son, you know, he's, he can always like clue right into this game. Like, this is his thing. Matter of fact, he is so clued, clued into Skylanders that he will talk about Skylanders no matter where we are or what we're doing. I just think that is 
That is some dedication right there. Absolutely awesome. We'll be we'll be at the ballpark, you know, tossing around the ball, and he'll be like, "Hey, this kind of is like what Tree Rex does when he shoots his beam, or you know, something something along those lines." Skylanders of the light. Speaking of. But yeah, anytime. Oh well, well, tis the Skylander ye are. Say, you wouldn't know where I could find the likes of a pilot named Flynn, would ye? That horn swaggler owes me five gold pieces. Unless I just take it from ye. Get on me, hearties! Get on me, hearties. You guys know I'm a giant, right? <laughs> Is that all your hearties? Oh, nope, you have more. <laughs> oh. Oh, I have ranged weapons, and I have this big, huge thing on my... Oh, oh, it's an executioner. It doesn't Not matter. Bad. But what kind of pirate captain would I be if I didn't have more guards? Oh, more guards, huh? Well, let me go get all this treasure and stuff. Go get some! Oh, man. I don't know why, but Tree Rex has not been my favorite giant. Oh, until right about now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's bring it on. Yeah. Oh, I love. I just love all kinds of just huge types of characters like this. Like any type of game where they just have a monster-sized character. That's normally the ones I like to pick. They're normally harder to use, though. That's that's the downside. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, can't blame me for trying, can you? Yeah, I can. I'm Say, a giant. Why don't we smooth things over with a fine game of Sky Stones? Play Sky Stones? Yeah, I'll do that. Yar! Good to see that earlier misunderstanding is now water under the bridge. No, I just have a feeling that it's one of those uh, but thou must moments. This is an elemental square. If you put a stone of a different element on this square, your stone will break and form a block. That's kind of interesting. And I think I have one of those elemental stones. Um, yeah, see the Enfuego uh, Chompy there? So if I put the Enfuego Chompy on there and I can yeah, it'll be okay. But I can put human shield here. In human shield. Now the chances are, if they have a, a block like that, or a square like that, I should say, the the enemy you're playing against is gonna Robot have a stone Cyclops. that can fit there. So don't be all like, oh yeah, it's so cool, me, me. because it, you know, that Blaster you might not troll. be able to play to that too much. I am going to try and save my Enfuego Chomp um, to put on that square. Mohawk Cyclops. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> um, I should also say, in Sky Stones, there is the possibility of taking more than one stone at once. So, um, you know, like right here, if the the cha if the spider lean, you know what I mean, I could have taken the top and the left. I mean... As long as you have enough edges to beat everybody, you can you can take as many as you need, or as many as is legal, or you know whatever. So like in this moment here, if they have like an awesome sky stone that takes to the top and to the left, they would slap that baby down and take two of them at once. Um, they don't. <laughs> it's not a bad sky stone, but it's not gonna take both of them. It's just gonna take the one. You win. All right, so we just defeated defeated Dreadbeard, Stone and we got an Archean Jouster, of course. Where'd the treasure go? Be a fine oh, player, says I. But if you seize that Flynn fella, you tell him that he still owes me. Okay, I wanted the treasure. Gosh! All done, says I. Your ship's engine is repaired and ready for sale. Though I must warn you. I've heard tales of this very vessel before, and it's pretty impressive. Yeah, we know. And it's about to get a lot more impressive with Skyland's most amazing pilot. Back at the helm. Boom! Wait a minute! That's where I know you from! You're Captain Flynn! 
and you once borrowed five gold pieces from me and never gave it back! No, I'm pretty sure that was someone else. <laughs> what am I saying? No one else could possibly be this handsome! <laughs> Come back here, you swine! See ya! Five gold. Hey, you forgot me. I was supposed to come with you guys. Remember? Sorry. See you later, blobbers. <laughs> Aww. Blobbers. So we repaired the ship. We didn't. We didn't find all areas again. Gosh, what did I do? What did I do? That's okay. Point of this is to show you where everything is. So there it is. And also to play the game and what I, I, I already explained this. I want to get all the collective stuff, okay? If I want to get all the areas, I would do all the areas. I don't care about finding all the areas. Whatever. It's in there somewhere as an area, whatever. Okay? So anyway, next time we do some ship stuff and, um, yeah, go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye.